be the time. You're watching Good Morning Oklahoma here on 5 Alive, KOCO TV. We're the McCain brothers with us this morning. I guess you could call this gentleman a legend in the music business. Bill Anderson, Whispering Bill Anderson. We're so happy to have you with us on the morning program. Thank you. Good to be here. I believe you guys have a good time here, don't you? Oh, well, we try to. <laughs> we have fun. We, it, it's contagious, too. We have a great time. And, and I think you like to also have a good time. If you folks aren't familiar with Bill, he's had numerous hit records in country music. And he also has a game show on the Nashville Network, and it's called Fandango. And you look like you have an excellent time doing that show. Well, I do. You know, it's like, uh, it's like you said to me across the studio a while ago. It beats Baylin Hay in West Texas. Oh. So where we're stealing hubcaps in uh, Atlanta, <laughs> and uh, we're lucky. I think that those of us who are able to make a living doing something we enjoy are probably the luckiest people in the world. I, I feel sorry for people who have to get up and go to work every day to do something they don't like, because I enjoy what I do, and I can tell you guys enjoy what you do. We certainly do. You had a hit song years ago. It was called Poor Folks, and that's the name mm -hmm. of the restaurants that uh, you're now involved with, and there's one in Norman and also one in Tulsa. Tell us about the restaurants, Poor Folks. Well, I think the first thing we're going to do is go hire Jackie. I was well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressed with hey, all the things. I saw you salivating over there. <laughs> Besides that, my mouth was watering, I guarantee. <laughs> now, I'm the national spokesman for the chain of Pope folks. I guess they go, it's in my contract that that has to show up. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, whatever I do television. There <laughs> well, we go. All right, we. We've got you now. Send us a lot of gift certificates. <laughs> <laughs> All Just kidding. Po folks is kind of down home cooking. We call it our slogan is hearty home style cooking. I got involved with the chain because of my song Po folks, and for years my band's been called the Po folks or the Po boys or something like that. I've been running around the country promoting Po folks for 25 years or so. The restaurant chain started down in South Carolina back in the mid 70s. I didn't get involved with them until 1981. There are now about 150 of them in 24 states, all the way from the East Coast uh, to the West Coast. And we, we only have two in the state of Oklahoma, but we're pretty proud of them. I was over at the one in Tulsa yesterday. And tonight, uh, from about 6 to 8, I'll be down in Norman at the one on West Lindsay. So I uh, want you guys to come down and uh, chow down. Well, we've got a lot of people are going to be down in Norman tomorrow with that big Nebraska game. Of well, I tell you what, we'll feed every one of them if they'll come to Pope, folks. We've got the best chicken and biscuits and all kinds of things like that you ever put in your mouth. Well, you folks uh, stop by and see uh, uh, Bill Anderson. Of course, that means a free meal if you say you've watched us on the morning. <laughs> that, I'm, just, I, I'm just kidding. Well, actually, we charge double. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, they're saying you watch us and 50 cents will get you a cup of coffee there. Right. Well, let's talk about your recording career. I remember I started radio back in 1973, and I remember playing your records back then. Are you the one that played my uh, records? <laughs> yeah. I was one of the many guys that played your records. Are you still recording? Well, yeah, I really haven't had anything uh, to write home about in the last few years, but I'm still making records, yeah. In fact, I think I'll always want to make records. I, I haven't written and said and sung everything I want to communicate yet. Yeah, I would like to add that he's not only a recording artist, Butch, but he is a tremendous songwriter. Thank you. I really got started in the business as a songwriter, writing songs for other people to record. And one day somebody said, why don't you make a record? And I said, golly, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Who gave you the uh, name Whisperin' Bill? That was hung on me by a little guy named Don Bowman, who was a comedian on my television show. I did a syndicated television show from uh, 1965 to 1974. And I do a lot of songs that where I'll sing a little bit and talk a little bit. Yeah, and, and, I remember and that. And I've just got kind of a, a naturally uh, soft kind of a voice, I guess. And, and Don Bowman would call me Old Whisper or uh, Whispering Bill, and it just kind of... Uh, took a hold. I'm really kind of glad it happened because, you know, Bill Anderson's a very common name. You could probably open the phone book in Oklahoma City and find a half dozen Bill or William Andersons, but uh, having a little nickname like Whispering Bill, I, I uh, kind of gave me a handle. I didn't have to change my name to Conway Twitty or something. Yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> his real name, I think, is Harold Jenkins. Harold Jenkins, yeah. yeah. Well, tell us about your television show. How often do you tape Fandango? We tape it twice a year, which uh, may sound funny because the show's on five days a week, Monday yeah, through a, Friday. That's a great job, Bill. <laughs> well, we go, in, we go in a month in the fall and a month in the spring there at the National Network. We tape five shows a day. Now, that, that can, get, uh, can make for some pretty long days sometimes because sure. you go in early in the morning and you get out of there after the sun goes down you know, very late in the afternoon. Five shows a day. Most game shows do it that way. And we'll tape for 13 uh, consecutive days. By about the twelfth day, I don't even know what planet I'm on, let alone what... You must change network. clothes about five or six times a day. Then. Unbelievable, yes. Just wear out my clothes from the inside. Just uh, <laughs> yeah. taking them off and putting them on. You need to do what Dick Clark uh, does. Remember we... Uh 
had a tape on uh, Dick Clark's bloopers and practical jokes, and he wears the same outfit all the time. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah. When he's uh, on that show, he wear he and blue, Ed McMahon. Blue blazer and a red tie and a white shirt. You notice that, but that way they can just put their segments together. But No matter Ed, what day it is. Yeah, yeah. that's true. He, yeah. he and Ed just wear the same clothes all the time. Well, they... Uh, well, those guys smell, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, uh, they, they like for me to change clothes, and, and they tell the contestants, you know, also to, to bring a change of clothes so that it does look like it's a different day. Like sure. Well, all there just and Mr. Thing. Gaylord's got the money. He can afford to pay you for that change. <laughs> sure. He may be watching us well, this morning. We hope so. We just had Ed on a few days ago. Why don't you stay with us, and we want to visit a little bit more with you. Is that okay? I want to talk to you about soap opera. Okay. Whispering oh, yeah. Bell Anderson. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go away. Most of you just joined us. Whispering Bill Anderson is with us. You were on a soap opera for how long? About three years? Off and on for about three years. I was right across the street from all my children. I was at an ABC show called One Life to Live. It was back in uh, the late 70s and early 80s when uh, country music, you know, the urban cowboy thing and everything had gotten so hot. And they had a thing in the storyline where there was a little girl from North Carolina who had moved up to this little town called Landview, which is supposedly right outside of Philadelphia, to be a country singer. And they wove me in and out of the script uh, as Bill Anderson, just uh, kind of giving her advice and helping her in one thing and another. And it started out just kind of as a lark, and three years later, we were still having a good time with it. I it, it, is, it. Isn't it amazing how many people watch soap operas? It's absolutely astounding. Uh, I had no idea how many people watched them until I was actually on one. You guys will even be astounded after your own how many people will tell you. And they'll tell you years from now that they saw you on there. You also worked a game show for ABC. I did a show for <laughs> 26 grand and glorious weeks back in uh, <laughs> 1978, I guess it was. It was a show called The Better Sex, and I, I was a co-host on there, or had a co-host on there. Uh, Sarah Purcell and I did the show together. That was her first uh, network television show before she did Real People and some of the other things. She's a she talented lady, there. isn't she? Very nice lady, fun to work with. I enjoyed Sarah a lot. Well, Bill Anderson, uh, you folks, if you, if you just tuned in, he's got a restaurant down in Norman. It's called Poe Folks, and he's also got one in Tulsa, and you'll be there tonight. Be at Norman tonight. Yeah, be there from about 6 till 8 and invite the people to come out and uh, chow down with us. I may even go back in the kitchen, fry the chicken, make the biscuits tonight. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Sounds like a wild time to me. <laughs> well, Bill Anderson, thank you very much for joining us. Good luck with uh, Fandango, your you. uh, game show on the Nashville Network, and we look forward to seeing you again. Anytime you're back in Oklahoma, you're welcome to be a part of the morning program. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Whispering Bill Anderson. <laughs>